Wow. Car turned sideways and just flipped in the air. That is, quite honestly, that's just not acceptable. There's no way that a car, when it turns like that, should get up in the air that easily. There has been millions of dollars and hours and hours of time spent to prevent that from happening. That's going to catch everybody by surprise. And you see right there a slide that gives you a great view of the whole underbody we talk about, the underwing, everything that took people talk about for damage. And then here, How do you flip the two tires in one season? Tumble, pretty violent tumbles. I mean, you said it, Rick. 3,000 pounds. It looks like a matchbox car just tumbling through the grass. Let's watch it again, Jeff. This is earlier. Run. This was earlier. So this, this was, before. they were racing. This was the lap before. And, you know, obviously drivers upset at each other. But, you know, right here, I just feel like, yeah, he's just turning, right? And I can't tell from this shot if, if Noah comes down or not. But either way, this car to get in the air like that is shocking. And, Steve, you've shown us over and over when those flaps open up. That's supposed to help keep these cars on the ground. We saw the flaps open up there, but that thing immediately got upside down. And then right here, upside down, into the wall. Yes, Rick, to answer your question, the roof flaps are designed to keep these cars on the ground. That car left the asphalt faster than I have seen, right? I mean, it, when it turns sideways, I mean, look how violent this flip is. Wow. Okay, you see right here, he turns to go underneath Noah, and a little bit of contact. Noah really never moved his car. That was just... That's just racing. I mean, that, I don't think anything was on purpose there. Just think he makes contact, and then there, as soon as the car gets sideways, air gets, just lifts the car. And again, to give you, uh, let's hear from Dave first. On pit road now is the eight car of Kyle Busch.